A Course Called America, 50 States, 5,000 Fairways, and the Search for the Great American Golf Course is a travelogue and exploration of golf across the vast landscape of the United States, penned by Tom Coyne, an esteemed golfer and author known for his prior work, A Course Called Ireland. This book is Coyne's love letter to golf in the U.S., extending an invitation to readers to join him on an ambitious quest to uncover the nation's best golfing experience. Coyne sets off on a journey that would be any golfer's dream. Play golf in each of the 50 states, seeking to identify what makes American golf unique and to find the quintessential American golf course. The diversity of the United States provides a vast tapestry upon which Coyne paints his narrative, from esteemed private clubs to accessible public courses, from ocean-brushed links to desert oases, and from mountainous terrains to acres of parkland. The journey unfolds with a spirit of discovery as Coyne delves into the regional distinctions of the game and how they reflect broader cultural and social themes inherent to the areas he visits. He encounters a variety of courses, emphasizing not only their architecture and aesthetic qualities, but also the stories and communities behind them. Each state presents its own version of the game, influenced by geographical nuances and the local ethos. Coyne meets an array of personalities along the way, ranging from legendary designers to everyday hackers, and shares anecdotes that reveal the human side of the sport. He converses with fascinating characters, gaining insight into the regional quirks of the game, and collects a treasure trove of golf lore, adding depth to his pursuit. The book presents an array of experiences, challenging rounds in harsh weather, serene moments on pristine fairways, and the camaraderie of shared endeavors with new friends. One of the central themes is Coyne's search for what might be described as the soul of American golf. He poses the question, what course or golfing experience embodies America's diverse, complex identity? It is an inquiry that doesn't lead to a single answer, but rather a tapestry of experiences and reflections that reveal as much about America itself as about its golf courses. In his travels, Coyne doesn't shy away from discussing the more controversial and challenging aspects of the game, such as exclusivity and environmental concerns, critiquing the sport's shortcomings while also pondering its future. For instance, he provides a thoughtful analysis of golf's elitist reputation, juxtaposing it with the genuine democratization occurring in some areas of the country, reflecting on grassroots efforts that make the game more accessible to diverse communities. Coyne's writing is filled with vivid imagery, his descriptions capturing the varied landscapes of America, from the windswept coasts to the sun-soaked plains. He crafts a scenic backdrop that allows readers to feel as if they are traversing the country right beside him. His prose is not solely focused on the physical. He delves into the emotional and psychological aspects of the game. Golf, as Coyne illustrates, is a reflection of life's triumphs and tribulations, encapsulating joy, frustration, and moments of self-discovery. Among the memorable moments on his journey, Coyne visits iconic places like Augusta National, home of the Masters, as well as less heralded gems that are just as integral in defining American golf. He explores legendary venues, including Pebble Beach and Pinehurst, that are steeped in history and professional lore. But Coyne's quest goes beyond the well-trodden paths to include hidden jewels and out-of-the-way courses that encapsulate the pioneering spirit of American golf. It might be a meticulously maintained country club or a scruffy municipal course that holds the essence of the game for the locals, and Coyne makes room for these places in his narrative. Throughout his travels, Coyne also reflects on his personal journey, the evolution of his love for the game, and its role in his life. Golf is presented not only as a competitive sport, but as a means of personal enrichment, a way to connect with others, and a lens through which to view the broader strokes of life. The game serves as both a challenge and a comfort, a teacher and a source of endless stories. After thousands of fairways and countless golfing experiences, a course called America does not conclude with Coyne singling out one definitive course as the Great American Golf Course. Instead, he proposes that the greatness of American golf lies in its variety and the collective experiences of the players who trod its greens. The book suggests that the search itself is indicative of the spirit of golf in America, a mosaic of experiences and shared tales from coast to coast, 
a journey where each swing, each hole, and each round is a story in and of itself. In conclusion, A Course Called America is a rich and multifaceted exploration of American golf, serving not only as a guide to the nation's courses, but also as an insight into its cultural heart. Coyne's journey is as much about the places and people he encounters as it is about the courses he plays. His narrative captures the spirit of American golf as an integral part of the nation's character, diverse, challenging, and endlessly fascinating. By the end of the book, it is clear that Coyne's quest has led him to find not a single exemplary course, but to appreciate the patchwork quilt of American golf, each thread a vital part of the greater whole, just as America itself is a nation of coexisting diversities. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.